Uh, in this video, we will see how to proceed with integration with the problem, given problem looks something like this. Okay. So, <clears throat> look at the first problem. Integrate the function x cube minus 4x squared plus 3x plus 1 by x minus 5 by x. Before starting with integration, you should write it in such a way that it is ready for integration. The left hand side, we have to put it as i. i indicates the given integral is. And any integral must be carrying the sign of integration. And once you put the sign of integration, it should end with dx. Which means that the given function is integrated with respect to x. Now this is ready for integration. So first is to ensure that the given problem is made compatible for integration with appropriate integral sign and dx presence. Okay, yeah. Now if you look at this, there are many functions, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like you know we have f of x plus g of x, f of x minus g of x plus r of x plus s of, s of x and so on. And according to the algebra of integration, you can separate each one of them. <clears throat> so what I do is, I will separate each of these functions. So whenever you write integral sign, it should be followed with, it should end with dx minus 4x squared, 4 is a constant, k f of x dx, k is outside the integral sign. So 4 is a constant, write it outside the integral sign. Then you have x squared dx plus 3x dx, integral 3x dx. 3 is a constant, it is outside the integral sign. So here you have 3 into x dx, this x dx plus integral 1 by x dx minus phi is a constant in the numerator phi times of integral 1 by x cube dx so the problem is like this now so now you write it as i equals ok write all these once again except in the last term last term x cube dx minus 4 times of x squared dx plus 3 times of integral x dx plus integral 1 by x dx minus 5 into integral x to the power of minus 3 dx shifting x to the power of 3 from denominator to the numerator now you integrate each one of them integral x cube dx you know the usage of power rule so it is x to the power of n plus 1 by n plus 1 that is 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 that is x to the power of 4 by 4 minus 4 times of integral x squared dx here n is 2 now so it is 2 plus 1 2 plus 1 is 3 so x cube by 3 plus 3 into x has got power 1 so n is 1 here n plus 1 1 plus 1 1 plus 1 is 2 so x squared by 2 plus if you look at this this is the direct formula you have a direct formula for integral 1 by x dx as log x so the sign is plus here plus log x and the sign is minus here so minus 5 you write it as it is into integral x to the power of minus 3 power is minus 3 n is minus 3 there so n plus 1 becomes minus 3 plus 1 and minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2 so this becomes x to the power of minus 2 divided by minus 2 plus c so this is the answer of the integration <coughs> sorry so what we did do in this problem we use the property of the algebra of integration that f of x plus r minus g of x is f of x integral f of x dx plus r minus integral g of x dx and any constant if it is present inside the integral sign you have to take it outside and use whichever the relevant formula that is applicable for the problem okay yes now the second one okay the second problem you see it is having both numerator and denominator I will write the problem once again x to the power 4 plus 3x squared minus 4x plus 1 divided by 
x square. So it has numerator and denominator. So whenever you have a numerator and denominator, you method is you have to separate each one of these x to the power of 4 by x square plus 3x square by x square minus 4x by x square plus 1 by x square. If you do so, see you get x to the power of 4 by x square minus 3x square by x square minus 4x by x square plus 1 by x square. This is same as this. Why? Because if you take the LCM which is x square, x square divided by x square is 1, 1 into x to the power 4 is x to the power 4 itself, minus x square divided by x square is 1, 1 into minus 3x square is minus 3x square itself, so you get the same thing, whatever you have here, here you have plus sign, so I will make it plus, so this is also plus, then x square divided by x square is 1, <coughs> 1 into minus 4x is minus 4x, plus 1, so you got the same thing, okay. So don't worry, whenever you have a fraction, numerator, denominator, you can just separate it. So I make it ready for integration. I put the necessary signs, the symbols. Okay. Now separate each term. This is integral x to the power 4 by x squared dx plus 3 is constant. Take it outside. Integral x squared by x squared dx. Minus 4 constant, take it outside, x by x squared dx plus integral 1 by x squared dx. Okay, and separate it and take on the constants outside. Now simplify this. This is integral x squared dx plus 3 times of integral 1 dx minus 4 times of 1 by x dx plus this is integral 1 by x squared is x to the power of minus 2 dx shift x squared from denominator to numerator now you integrate using the relevant formula integral x to the power of 2 dx power power is 2 here so n plus 1 x to the power of n plus 1 n is 2 so 2 plus 1 how much? x to the power of 3 by 3 plus 3 into integral 1 dx. You know, integration of x is 1. Sorry, differentiation of x is 1. So integral 1 dx should give you just x minus 4 times of integral 1 by x dx. For direct usage of the formula, it is logarithm of x, of course, to the base e plus integral x to the power of minus 2 dx. Now n is minus 2, so x to the power of minus 2 plus 1, that is minus 1 divided by minus 1 plus c. That's all. You have to add c at the last step of the final answer. Okay? So here, whenever the given function is in form of numerator by denominator, you have to separate and then integrate. Okay?